What's up guys, Brett Medlock here. Wanted to do a quick little preview of how Dragon Ball Fighters is on Nintendo Switch. Of course, you can play this right now. All you have to do is go to the eShop. I believe it's open this weekend to play for anybody. It's an open beta. So if you want to jump in, you definitely can. But if you don't feel like doing all that and you just want to watch this video, that works as well. So my initial thoughts with this game is, oh my god, it's freaking gorgeous. I haven't actually played the other versions. I had to do a little bit of research to see how they look in comparison to the Switch version. And you see, this is a pretty big deal for me. I'm a really big Dragon Ball Z fan. I'm just not a really big fighting game fan. So I didn't really think that this was going to be my type of game. And lo and behold, my god, this game is a ton of fun. If you've played the recent Blaze Blue cross tag game, it's really similar to that. You're switching out fighters, you're doing special attacks. It's bursting with personality and colors, and it's just a gorgeous game. Like, I cannot stress that enough. And it looks like the Switch version isn't really holding anything back. This looks like the PS4 and Xbox. Xbox One versions. I honestly cannot tell any difference whatsoever. Graphically, it is very much the same as the other platforms. Now, when it comes to frame rate, I have gotten a couple stutters every now and then, and it sort of looks like this weird, like, stop motion effect. Like that upcoming Spider Man Into the Spider Verse movie. It uses this weird, like, frame skipping technique, and it kind of looks pretty cool, but you can kind of tell it's not really intentional in this game. But it's hard to really complain when you're getting such a beautiful game on the Nintendo Switch. I mean, as you know, the Switch isn't quite as powerful as the other guys on the market but with this game they're not holding anything back it's the same as the other versions and if you're like me you have that nintendo switch pro controller and it feels great playing a fighting game with that controller this is actually the first fighting game that i've played on switch i'm really enjoying my time i'm definitely going to be picking this one up now i'm sure you already know plenty about this game as it's been out on other platforms for a while now but if you don't it's pretty much the dream fighting game for dragon ball fans you're getting all the characters that you love and they're still updating the game giving you new characters like base goku and base vegeta recently and those characters will also be launching with the Switch version. There's tons of fan servicey stuff in this game, so if you're a Dragon Ball Z fan or a Dragon Ball fan of any sort, this is a must-play game in my opinion. As soon as I booted it up and saw how gorgeous it was and how the characters interacted with one another, I knew that I was going to need to play the real full game. As for the internet connection and whatnot, I haven't had any issues. There is no slowdown. There's nothing. Like, I'm surprised this is a beta and not the final game. I haven't had any weird connectivity issues, which is a great sign for the full game. I will say though i'm not a fan of the lobby system and i don't know if it's just the beta because like i said i haven't really played the full game before but i don't like having to wait for a fight i just wish i could jump in a lot quicker i'm not sure if this is just for the beta so they can slow things down and slowly ease people in but i'll be sure to let you know in the description below if that is normal or not and i don't want to go without mentioning that this game offers more than just online and local multiplayer there's a full-blown story mode that introduces new characters and there's a bunch of fan servicey stuff throughout it like i said though i haven't played that yet but i definitely plan to in the near future thanks a lot for watching that's all i really got to say today guys this has just been a short preview just in case you didn't feel like downloading the game and checking it out be sure to look out for our full review on the game when it launches on nintendo switch later this year i'm brett medlock and i will talk to you guys later